Hello everyone, welcome to Matrices in R Tutorials. In this first tutorial, we are going to see how matrices are created in R. The matrices are two-dimensional rectangular data objects. Uh, we can also think matrices as the vectors with two additional properties, the number of rows and the number of columns. And all the columns of a matrix must have the same data type, that is all numeric or all characters. Uh, there are different ways of creating matrices. Uh, let's first of all start with a matrix function for vectors. Uh, so we have a vector x here, uh, which, is a, which is numbers from 1 to 12. Then we can create a matrix M1 out of this vector x using this matrix function. The first argument of the function is the vector x. The second argument is the number of rows of the matrix. and third argument is the number of columns of the matrix. Here we have to um, uh, keep in mind uh, uh, while using this matrix function is that the length of a vector uh, must be divisible by number of rows and number of columns. The length of the vector x is here 12 because we have numbers from 1 to 12 and uh, the number of rows is 3 and number of columns um, is 4. So this 3 and for both divides uh, uh, this length of vector x, which is 12. Uh, in other words, if you multiply this uh, number of row and number of columns, we should get exactly the length of vector x in this case. So let's create a matrix M1. Okay, so here is our matrix. So we have like um, three rows, first, second, third, and four columns, first, second, and third, and fourth. This matrix M1 created uh, is um, a column-wise uh, matrix by default. We can create a row-wise matrix by using an option called by row and setting that option to true. So in this case, we will get our matrix M1 row-wise. Okay. Um, uh, so, um, now, um, uh, we can check whether this M1 is a matrix uh, or not by using uh, is dot matrix function. So, let us see that. Okay, so, it is true. So, of course, uh, M1 is a matrix. We can also check the type of M1 using a class function. Uh, so, it is a matrix class or matrix type. We can use DIM function, DIM function to see what are the number of rows and number of columns of a matrix, uh, M1 in this case. So we have three rows and four columns. We can also individually check the number of rows and number of columns of matrix using end row and end call uh, functions. So number of rows is three and number of uh, columns is four. Um, in, in previous example, uh, while uh, creating matrix M1, we specified the number of rows and number of columns. But um, even if we specify only the number of rows, then uh, it, it is enough to create a matrix using the matrix function. So in this case, I have only specified the number of rows, which is 5. So let's create another matrix M2 in this case. Okay. Um, the another way of creating matrices is using C bind and R bind functions. Uh, for that, let's create uh, two matrix, uh, two sorry, two vectors y1 and y2. Okay, and then we can create uh, a matrix M3 by uh, using a C bind function for two vectors uh, y1 and y2. So in this case, basically, this C bind function uh, combines. Uh, these two vectors y1 and y2 by their columns and create, creates a matrix M3. Okay, so uh, the first column here is the vector y1 and the second column he, is here um, the vector y2. So they are combined by their columns and so new vector is created. We can also combine these vectors by their rows uh, using R bind function. So let's do that this time. Okay, so the first vector here is the first row of the matrix, and the second vector y2 
is the second uh, row of the matrix. So, that is all about um, creating, mat creating matrices in R. Uh, thank you very much for watching and I will see you guys in the next tutorial.